How's it going everyone? This is Don Tonic here. I'm going to walk you very quickly through uh, the construction of a ground mounted system. This is uh, one we just did here in Fayette County, Georgia. And um, all right, so what we're going to show you first is basically if you look down here, we start with um, very big holes that go about usually about four feet into the ground, depending on what uh, where we are in the country depends on how wide they need and how deep they need to be. Uh, so yeah, we start out with a big hole in the ground going all the way down the row here and all the way down the front row. And um, we put these poles, like I said, there's four feet of this going all the way down. We bring in a big old concrete truck that one by one fills every hole. Uh, we have a very meticulous system of making sure that they are perfectly straight and leveled and that they are in perfect alignment long ways so that when we put this crossbar here it all slides in in one big long and doesn't uh, doesn't get off track for us so yeah the next step is to put these um, these these caps on here and these basically pole caps and U brackets that connect this that goes all the way across and that is becomes the support for the entire system. From there, we obviously uh, put in the normal racking that we would use on any roof. So you have uh, iron ridge rails here and all of the mids and end clamps on the other side, connecting everything. Uh, and then you know, solar panels, obviously. From there, um, one of the innovations that we really like um, is two types of inverters. There are string inverters, which um, usually go on the building and it combines everything and then converts the AC, the DC to AC at the location over there. These happen to be microinverters, which are located underneath modules. Uh, in the history of this invention, it's always been where there's been one microinverter for every module. So that meant that you needed however many panels you had, you had to have that many microinverters. AP Systems put out the QS1, with the advantage being that we can plug four solar panels into one unit. So for the customer, what that means is that you have less things that can go wrong for you, less things that could potentially need to be fixed or malfunction. So um, from there, we combine all of them into our boxes over here, our combiner boxes. This particular system happens to be divided between that house over there and that house over there. So. We, oh, hold on. So, uh, all of these um, microinverters be become combined into their own branches, what we call them. This one in particular having three branches. This one also having three branches. So, from here, it goes into the ground. If you look at this little trench here, you can see that. One of them goes underground all the way to that house. One of them goes underground all the way to that house uh, with very large wires. And um, that's how we get everything to the meter over there. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Give us a call and we'll build one in your yard soon. Go solar. <laughs> 